Hi, my name is Monet and I was a part of the group that went to Panama in January of 2012. We want to share with you our experience to give you an idea of what a brigade trip is like. On the first day, we flew to Panama City. We each had a large suitcase full of medications and supplies for the trip. After arriving at the airport, we met our coordinator, Jeff, who will be with us for the rest of the trip. We packed the bus with our luggage and left to have a late night dinner at Nico's Cafe in the city. On day two, we left the city and drove for about four hours to the province of Dedian, where we had lunch at the compound, which was still under construction. We would have lived at the compound for the trip, but two of the schools were already staying there. So for our trip, we got to stay at a nearby hotel in Santa Fe. After lunch, we went to our first community, Alto del Cristo. We saw the school where we would have our first clinic the next day. We then went to visit different families around the community to learn more about their living and health situations. Then we had dinner at the compound and spent the rest of the night unpacking our medications and supplies. We got things ready for the clinic the next day. On our first clinic day, our bus broke, so we were two hours late and there was a huge line of patients waiting to be seen. Most of us hadn't been on a brigade trip before, so we were all so eager to see what happens at the clinic. With the help of our coordinator, Jeff, and the local doctors, dentists, and pharmacists who accompanied us, we quickly set up the different stations and began seeing patients. This is how our clinic ran. We had local community members register patients who then went to triage, where we asked for their personal health information and took their vitals. Hola, Next, the patients went to counseling where they took medications for parasites and saw a doctor. They then had the choice of seeing a dentist for basic services such as fluoride treatments or extractions. Next was Sharla, where we educated patients on the proper way to wash their hands, brush, and floss their teeth. And then don't forget to brush behind the teeth. Here are all our medications. Finally, the patients got the medications that the doctors and dentists prescribed at the pharmacy, where we will counsel them on their medications. Our clinics ran for about five to six hours, and afterwards, we would play with the kids. We packed things up and headed back to the compound, but our bus ran out of gas, so we waited for another bus. We talked about the clinic experience and how we can improve things for the next day. After dinner, a local tribe came to visit the compound to sell some of their arts and crafts and perform some of their native dances. In total, from our four clinic days, we saw 400 patients dispensed over 13,000 multivitamins and helped to perform 33 dental extraction and 179 fluoride treatments. Mm -hmm. 
On our last day, we headed back to Panama City and visited the Panama Canal and the Causeway. We then headed to a hostel nearby and relaxed at the river there. The next day, we would head to the airport and fly back home. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you two right now?